Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. That's the Appleton Oak. This is Diamond Dave Damone. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we are checking out The Haunting of Bly Manor. We are on episode seven. This one's called The Two Faces part two so who knows what we're in for but this show has been such a banger the acting is incredible the writing's great i'm looking for hidden ghosts i'm excited uh, episode five confused me episode six was phenomenal they laid out so much heavy background content and I'm just uh, anxious to see what they bring at us with episode seven. Yeah, episode, the last episode was a lot of information, just like episode five, as the Oak was saying. They're I am expecting it. more information out of this one. So that being said, let's go! Boy, he whacked her good. Oh, yeah, he got her real good. <laughs> oh! She's our friend. She's worried. Look. Can she see her? I think she'd feel better if you told her this yourselves. Selves? It's probably Peter and uh, Rebecca. Of course, somebody told her to do it. Oh, oh is it going to be? <laughs> it is Peter and Rebecca, isn't it? Yep. Has to be. Yep. Yep. Peter. Ah, you slime ball. This feels wrong. Sometimes right can seem wrong when wrong can seem right. But that's the difference between children and adults. Seeing the big picture. Now you can see it. Like the bird at school. You see. That's right. Oh. She's hurt. No, she's not hurt. She's just scared. She doesn't know yet. There's nothing to be scared of here. Oof. She's looking half concussed a little bit. She's never gone dream hopping before, has she? I mean, it takes a little practice. Remember? She's very clever. She'll have fast. It's not quite the same. Um. Oh, that was Hannah. Hannah. Extra slumping. Oh. Extra slumping. It was best. <gasps> oh, gone. Dream, dream hopping. It's okay. I think as a ghost, they just maybe go into different. It's okay, kids. Uh, she's just uh, she's dream hopping a little. Well, that's the safe word I think he uses. But the important thing is. Yes, we need to figure out what to do with our friend here. I mean, she could get us in a lot of trouble, wouldn't she? What? <laughs> she wouldn't have if you didn't hit her. Maybe make it so that she could dream up too when you want that far. Oh, That's Jesus. Why. I'm a little slow here, but is not is he referring to dream hopping as like 86th? Uh, I think so. Yeah. There are different things, aren't there? Different that, keys. Is that going to be Hannah? Well, what the heck is it? Man, I think you were right. It's I need you to talk to her, but don't open the door and you say exactly what I tell you. Do you I don't understand? hear any, any knocking. I mean. Oh. He's hopping away. What should we do? We never can tell. What's down there? What is that? All this time. That's what you see. And look at this. The key on the wall. Look water. at you and look at this. So his mom? That's what I'm thinking. Here, you're out. I'm out. Oh, she in jail? Out? Or maybe she was in like an asylum, maybe? Lord Henry Wingrave, I presume. Amazing how far you've climbed. He wound you up, and now you're shaking me down. I suppose those juvenile records, he might not even Jeez, know. Jeez, mom! Oh, <laughs> Jesus. I don't have any money. Oh, you're not a rich man, Petey. No. Just work for one, do you? Forgive me if I'm... That's why he had to steal everything. Did he say anything at all to you, Rebecca? Even the slightest hint? The reason he confided in you? Well, well. We, we were... I, I mean, oh, I, I was... Got it. 
I've <laughs> <laughs> heard it all before. Well, he mentioned something about having some money. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of money, maybe. Four million pounds. No. Oh. He just had to pack a bag. Pack a bag? Yes. That we were going to America together. Sounds lovely. <laughs> you're certain he didn't say where he got this money from? No. No, you're not certain. No, no, he didn't say. He didn't stay. Not even to his girlfriend. Just pack a bag. No explanation beyond that. Nothing at all. That's exactly it. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much what he said. I would have thought he'd tell his girlfriend he had the money. He gave a damn about her. No, he if wouldn't. If he loved her, I would think he would tell her more than that. He wouldn't. Maybe not, since he did leave you behind, after all. No, he wouldn't run away! Oh, this is getting trippy. Boy, Peter just wound her up. Remember how we first met her? She was like this brilliant professional. I told Hannah and the policeman, but they didn't believe. Didn't believe what, Miles? About the monster. <laughs> the monster that took oh. him in. It was awful, and we thought he was... But he's still here. So it's actually all right. He told me to tell you not to worry. So don't worry. He's still here. Creepy. Wow. Hella creepy. And is, and is that why she walks into the lake? Miles! Oh, it's happening to Rebecca yeah. now with all this, just like Hannah. Yep. Two parts water and lots of lovely washing up liquid for the lemon scent, of course. Seriously, just throw it in a bloody mix. <laughs> <laughs> Can't mess genius, Jamie. Is it a mixer? We'll damage the gluten molecules and we mustn't. <laughs> I'm in one of Owen's cooking physics classes again. Oh, yeah, it's a fine lecture. It's chemistry. Certainly is. What's that? Ha, I got it. Finally, something I understood right away. <laughs> it's about gluten atoms. I'll let the children know. I think I'm going to get some air. Feels quite warm today, doesn't it? What's wrong with her? Oh, that would have been right after the jump. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, right is this the episode left. where we finally get to see her meet Mr. Mayhem? Because we didn't see that yet. I think she does it to herself walking into the lake. <laughs> Just throws the heater on the ground. <laughs> she didn't even put it out. That's going to start a fire. <laughs> yeah, it seems wet outside there. <laughs> and if there is anything at all that I can do to help, please tell me. I'd be happy to do so. Thank you. Hmm. Just a giant concrete <laughs> gazebo <laughs> out in the yeah. middle of the yard. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty huge. I'm sorry we were apart. However long that was, I don't, I don't even know how long that was then. What does that mean? I was just going to upset you. Upset? Oh, I'm much more than just oh, upset. So tell her. Ghosts. Tell her. Oh, Is no. Sure. Just don't let her hunt. Right through it. What's the one thing? The only thing that would ever keep me from you? There we go. Wow. Can we be excused, Miss Jessel? He's got his little volcano. <laughs> <laughs> you still down here? You all right? Oh, Jesus, still in the classroom. She's been zoned out that whole I time. I suppose. The children are asleep. Oh, I know. Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe she came back down. Fractions, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Oof. Big gulps, eh? <laughs> A friend once told me something about fractions and grieving a breakup. How long it takes to grieve it. Right, and what was that? They said it's the length of a relationship halved. Half? Mm, huh. To get over it. The length of a relationship halved, which for you, well, it, it really isn't that long, now, is it? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you'll be fine. I mean, how... how uh oh. God, I hate being this slow. Is is she gonna get taken out? No, she goes into the lake. Somehow she gets to the lake. Well, she's not the lady in the lake though. No, well, I know, but remember they showed all the flashbacks of Rebecca by the lake at least. Well now I, I was thinking that too, but now I'm thinking like she just shows up kind of anywhere. So maybe it wasn't the lake. Could Peter? Be. Well, maybe. Big maybe. I could see you in the classroom. Couldn't risk it, you know, because of the kids. I've been thinking. 
Uh oh. What if? Oh no, 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 no. What if we still did it? Did what? Went to America. I know, just we do it anyway, and, and people can think I'm some batty old Brit who talks to thin air, but at least we'd be together. <laughs> what the f <laughs> What is happening here? She doesn't know I can't leave. Can't leave. leave. I tried. I uh, the yep. Yep. I walk and I run and the moment. Just like Hannah. Ah, she yep. is gone. Okay, Told that ya. confirms it 100% in my mind now. Insight, right on the spot. What will you tell me now? So it's basically Hotel How California. Mm -hmm. Is what we're saying. <laughs> you can't leave. Yeah. Just a one way ticket. But right there, and I can't even touch you. I can't smell you. I can't feel you. No, it's not fair. It's not fucking fair. You're right here. You've you got you. to be quiet, right Bex. Whoa. Oh, the old Willy Wally. Bex? It's like he found a way to transcend the spirit world. I've seen this before in Ghosts. <laughs> Patrick Swayze took some learning. You start with a can in the subway. <laughs> Ghost training. Have you guys seen Ghost? It's, it's, dude, I think it's been since the late 90s <laughs> yeah, since, I, since I last saw it. Maybe when it first came out. <gasps> He's inside of her. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. Oh, we figured it out. Okay. out. okay. Oh, yeah. The show makes me feel so what dumb. Was that? What just happened? I don't. I don't. They took that from Ghost too. Patrick <laughs> Swayze took over Whoopi Goldberg's body. What's that knocking? What did you do to me? Why is that? It's gonna be the flashback of his mom. I bet. Look at you. Look at this. Yeah. He has to relive that. I have to go back. Every day. Dude, what if Rebecca eighty six is herself? Well, that's what I'm. That's what I'm or, thinking. But she would know that she you look can't. Better of late. Did you speak to Henry? Leave Bly too. Henry? Yeah, but she wants to be with Peter. Or does Peter jump in her and then? Then yeah. Mister Mayhem comes into play. <laughs> Thought I said you were going to visit. Do it in person. Change my mind. Well, what did he say? That he'll consider. Twat. He <laughs> owes it to you. <laughs> What if she's going to pull a Bella from Twilight and wants to be 86 so yeah. she can spend forever with forever. Peter That's what we're at this age yep. instead of her growing old in someplace else because mm -hmm. she can still leave Bly. Yep. That's kind of what we were saying. Like, what if yeah, yeah. she opts in or... Opts out. Or, yeah, good wording. <laughs> or, you know, Peter convinces her to opt This is out. how we can be together forever and yes. get Bly. Because even after finding out, she still wants to be with him. What? Why can't she leave? Wait, when did she get 86? Well, or I guess she technically is past the gates. It didn't work. Oh, so she can leave. Oh, he was in her. Oh, when okay. she tried to oh, leave. Oh, okay. he was. Oh, oh that's sorry, they, guys. Yep, sorry. they tried to they test that. Yeah. If she, she leaves, yep. if she's alive, can he go with her? Yep. Nope. <laughs> sorry, y'all. <laughs> Told you I'm running slow tonight. <laughs> and though she didn't much like losing time being tucked away, at least she had company there. His company. So she'll just go to this room at night and wait to talk to him. Yeah. <gasps> There's a black dress. It's going to happen. <laughs> she couldn't find him, so now yep, she's going to that's that. Meet well, him. that's the dress she was wearing when we saw her as a ghost. I need you to trust me because I have a plan. And it will let us be together again and touch each other and, and, and taste each other. So, um, <laughs> here's my proposal. A way for us to be truly together, fully together. How? You meet your demise. <laughs> I think uh, a lot simpler than you think, but it just boils down to you. It's up to you. How does she not get it yet? <laughs> it's you. And it's me. Take care of me, yes? Of course. Well, we shouldn't be surprised. Uh, Share it all, everything. Cool. I promise. I love you, Peter. 
I love you, Bex. He does. He takes control of her. It's you. It's me. It's us. <sighs> Wait a minute. Oh. He's going to walk her right into the lake. Wow, this is messed up. Messy. Oh. <laughs> How much? Uh, OG uh, selfie the old, right yep. there. <laughs> so that was the photo we saw. Yep. Wait a minute. Was it like this already? No, because he couldn't touch her then. Is that the whole ghost thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This was before. It, oh, the, they're back in the memory. Yep. She's tucked away again, aren't I? He's yep. inside her. Yep. Oh, he's trying to mess with her conscience so he can do what he can. Genius. He had promised they'd be equals, but she was safe, tucked away in a memory of them where they could be together. Mm -hmm. And he's doing this alone. And he had spent too much of his life alone. It's our specs. Are you, did you hear the water? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Yep. Unreal. How did she get so sucked into this? That's what I can't figure out. I mean, I understand love's wild, but, yeah, but come on. They did her character so different when we first met her. Well, I'm glad they're showing it for a slow individual for myself. <laughs> Give me the 100%. Spoon feed it. Oh, this is wild, dude. So what about Amy or Jamie and Owen? Who's that? Is that Owen? Oh, it's him. It's Peter. Oh, that's right. That's where he got dragged. That's insane. So that's where his actual body is. Yeah. Look how they're, they're doing like the water in the bedroom, almost the reflection. Oh, is she taking yeah. back over? What a trip. Oh, she woke up. Too little, and too late, though. Oh, my gosh. Wild. Whoa, what the... F Finally got the reveal. How come his body hasn't floated back up, though, is what I want to know. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. oh, that's yourself? Yep. I just thought it would be happy. But it was. It just kept getting tucked away. I know. Because you hid. You, 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 you hid from me off, after the lake. You, you hid and I, and I just keep coming back here. Let me show you how beautiful you are. Oh, it's like it's on repeat. After the water came into my lungs, so you just left. beautiful. You just left me to do it alone. I, this is what you said. It's not what I agreed. I, 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 I Maybe you should ask a couple more questions. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Especially with a shyster like this uh -huh. dude. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, zombified. Well, oh, that's. What? I'm so sorry. I had to. I had to because I'm selfish. Well, I thought that we could be together. Son of a bitch! You fucking lied! You're a fucking liar! I had to. Had to? <laughs> you didn't. Look, you'll understand. Oh. Thank you. Mom's back. Mm -hmm. How do I get out? I'm going to show you. <laughs> <laughs> well, they seem to go to lots of places, don't they? Becks, the kids, they get to hop around into the warmest little memories, the nicest little moments. And I always... <laughs> Is that so bad? It's hell. 
Wait, did he just say the kids? The kids, yeah, I caught that too. Stop, right? Stop, right? So. Flora has to stay where she is. Sorry. Sorry. Minutes are gone. Spinning these kids up. Taking advantage of their good intentions. Shameful. You're supposed to warn me. I don't like it when you don't warn me. No, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Kids are still alive. They're still alive. We have to finish it now. No, no, but it's too soon. No, it's right. It's right. We should give them a little longer. What out of time? How does getting rid of Danny help them? I don't think they're getting rid of her. The forever is. It's time. Why can't we just keep it the way it is? Those, those little hiccups on. He wants. He wants their he, bodies. I think he wants the kids to. There's Jessel and I. Take we just need a little off. more from you both. It's like what we've talked about. Does she want? Special present that will let Miss Jessel and I. <gasps> they want to take over the kids' bodies. It's going to save us from. Well, you know what? Oh, so they don't have to go to their memories anymore. Miles, but we have to finish it now. Oh, no. They want to take over the kids' bodies. What? Do we say the way? Tell me, look. I just. Oh. That's what's gonna happen next. This is what'll happen, Miles Flora. You don't want that to happen to us, do you? To Miss Jessel, to me? No, no, of course not. Because this is what happens to everyone who dies out of play. Oh. Be with Mummy and Daddy, and they won't fade. That won't happen to them. Because they died somewhere else. They'll keep their faces, and so will you, and you'll be happy. <laughs> Everyone will be just... You promise? We promise now, both of you. As hard as you can think. This is messed up. Very. This is way messed up. What happened to her? Nothing bad. Nothing bad. I promise you that. See, Miss Clayton, nothing to worry about. I'm going to the forever house. My mum is going to be just... perfectly splendid. Go and see Miss Jessel. Oh, what the... This can't be happening. You just get your mum and your dad in a safe place. With two people who love you so much. So how about it, mate? Go on, be a good lad. It's you. It's me. Oh my god, it's happening. It's us. No. Holy shit. Come on, Danny. Really need you to save the day here. I'm just gonna just need to finish this one. I'm still not sure why we have to. Cause she knows. Keep it quiet and I'll do it myself. I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. But Hannah's gonna know something's up. Where is everyone? Hannah. You beautiful, beautiful thing. I hope surprised for you. Would you come with me? All right, but well, where are we going? I'll show you. Bump. Is this the well? Well, she... <gasps> yeah, she's already... Yeah. You really made it difficult, didn't you? Hmm? Walking around, day to day, cleaning up and dreaming up mm -hmm. new clothes, carrying on like nothing happened. No. Yep. What? He's going to confront her about it. No, he's going to do it. No, it's already been done. I don't think so. Just fool your skins, whatever dream you like, while your face melts away like some forgotten memory. Jesus. You need to be put in your place. You need to look down. She's going to see her body down yep. there. What the hell? This God. is wild. Unreal. Yeah, there she is. Meet me. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the road runner. <laughs> Floor is five and, and darling, but Miles is gone. Flora might be too, and there's nothing 
nothing I can do about it because, because I'm dead. Oh, God. I gotta find Danny. What did I do? You did very well. Oh, she never did it. She told me to pretend. He couldn't see her anymore, so she told me what to say. Untie her, Flora, quickly. Yeah. What? So they're gonna save Miles then? I thought we were somehow. And I thought you needed my help. No, Flora. No one should ever need that much help. Not from anyone else. Oh, she's trying to prevent happening to the kids what yep. happened to her. It's too late. It's too late, but not for her. Get her away from here. You get wow. her as far away from this house as she possibly can. Wow, Miles is gone. Well, unless they find a way to boot Peter out of his body. She just said it's too late. Oh. Oh, boy. Well, Miles going to be waiting there with a stick or something. Yeah. We got to get out of here. Where are we going? I don't know. Anywhere. Anywhere. Just outside of Bly. I just came. I'm not leaving. Laura. And you can't make me. Miles. Oh. Oh, oh shit! No! No! She's coming for Danny. There's That's how they're gonna. Come end on! It. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yep. Oh, oh, me, damn it! That one got that me. One, that good. one got you. That one didn't get me. Oh, like before. <laughs> it was like the last episode. <laughs> oh, none of the junk scares got Hulk. Ah, this time it did. That one did. Oh man. Guys, there what? it was, episode wow. seven of, or wow. uh, rather, episode seven of Bly. Wow, that ending. <laughs> I can see the guys are going to need a minute here, but just real quick, I want to say that the acting in this episode was incredible. And now, as much as we don't like Peter on the show, that performance that he gave, that monologue, the... The, the whole range of emotions that he ran between telling the story to Rebecca and then his mom and then the kids. I mean, he must have had dialogue like this long. So big shout out to him. That was an incredible scene that he delivered as, like I said, as much as we don't like him. Uh, man, Danny just talk about being put in a terrible spot. Uh, here she comes to this house for a job. Everybody's a ghost. Uh, we had our suspicions early on, obviously with Hannah. Uh, I like how they kind of put some breadcrumbs in there for that. Now, uh, I knew it all along. These guys got confirmation that she was actually in the well. <laughs> but, I was holding on to hope, but but you know the and the the one thing I'll say is I think all three of us were a little bit confused on what what Peter was going for. Did he want to take over the kids' bodies forever? Which is I kind of think that's what he's going for. To me, it wouldn't make sense for him to eighty six the kids because then they'd be right in the same spot that he is with Rebecca. Well, keep so in what mind what he gained from that. So keep in mind he did drop a line in there, and this is paraphrasing because you already know the ending of this, but. Uh, he mentioned something that he was gone for that week trying to figure things out, and he figured out a lot. Yeah. So my guess is, you know, you weigh those two, and he knew that if they took over somehow, which I want to know his little training technique for that. Yeah, but. I mean, maybe they, maybe he found a way to leave Bly if he's in, you know, the kids' bodies. Maybe that's that's all I can really figure because I can't see any other benefit to to taking over the kids because as ghosts. Peter and Rebecca can already touch each other. They can already do all the stuff that they wanted. They just can't leave Bly. Remember, now that you just said that aloud, remember Peter said to Rebecca, you have to, like, we have to be one. You can't just partially let me in. Mm -hmm. That's why he kept talking to the kids like that. You, right. You, we got, it's us. They're like, you got to be 100% available for me to transfer my spirit or however you want to go yep. about that. But I think that's the key. Uh, it, it's it's got to be because this this episode was awesome. So much revealed. Uh, I can't wait to finish up this series. Yeah, I mean, there was a lot revealed this episode. I mean, how, um, how Rebecca passed and the fact that, you know, Peter was able to take over her body. We got 100% confirmation that that's what was happening earlier on with Miles. I mean, that's yep. kind of the gist that we got. Like, it looks like somebody's taking over her body. We got, like I said, confirmation of what we pretty much had already known. Um, but th this was this was a wild episode. Like, I don't know if their plan to be together, like Diamond Dave had mentioned, was something that we were unaware of. He figured something out. If they could take over the kids' bodies and 
maybe they were just going to live together at Bly because they tried the whole, you know, Rebecca running out as, you know, yeah. as, as Peter and they couldn't get out that way. So, um, I'm not sure whether they felt like if they were in the kids' bodies, they would be able to leave. It but like he said, he figured or, something out. Yeah. I mean, the, the biggest twist for me here is we've spent pretty much this entire series, you know, disliking Peter. And we found out that he had basically the worst child trauma that mm -hmm. a child could uh, a child could have. And a story that's not um, uh, very sadly, and it's difficult to talk about, it's not something that hasn't actually happened in real life where you have a father abusing children um, in, in the worst way possible. We don't need to define that. And the mother knowing about it and not not doing anything to stop it because the mother's either afraid of the father or the mother's just like more into the father than she is protecting the children. So uh, uh, like I said, to, to have a, a parent do that to you is is, is beyond you know, reprehensible, but to have a mother know what's happening and let it happen instead of protecting her kids. At this point, I feel like I'm not going to justify the stuff that Peter did, but that's a trauma that, I mean, it was pretty, it's pretty hard to watch that, you know, because it's been a pretty entertaining and mysterious series up to now. And for as heavy as the content is, parents dying and stuff like that, um, you know, the, the adultery and things like that, this just took a really, really heavy twist. And it almost, like I said, it almost makes you back up and, you know, you got to imagine like Peter growing up through that. He just wanted somebody he could be with that he could trust. And it wasn't his father and it certainly wasn't his mother. And like he had mentioned, it's like, she's almost worse. She wasn't the mm -hmm. one doing it, but she's the one that let it happen didn't protect him. So it almost makes you backstep on your judgments of the type of person that Peter was. And you, you wonder, you know, everybody always talked about, he was this, and he was that. And it's like, it's just kind of a reminder, like, yeah, it doesn't give you like a free pass to be a bad person. And, you know, we have to deal with our, our traumas, but man, like that's something that you can't wrap your head around. So, um, I don't know. It's 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 a, an interesting twist that they wanted to take over the kids' mm -hmm. bodies. I'm still not 100% sure how that was going to work. I'm sure we'll get answers. It feels like the last couple episodes, you know, they, they spent the first half of, you know, this this season, like, building up these mysteries yeah, and what's going on and, and all this. Teasing. And it feels like episode six and especially episode seven, we're finally getting, you know, s some answers sent our way. But there's still some confusions, and I'm guessing – those are going to get wrapped up in the last few episodes. Yeah, I'm pretty pretty positive that it goes back to uh, Peter and Rebecca when they tried to run through there, uh, through the uh, end of the driveway, that she wasn't like, – like he can jump in and be a part of yeah. like the host. Not fully committed, though. But if you're not 100% it's us as they were selling it to the kids – then I don't think it's going to work. I think the, the, the host has to be all in, and then the ghost has to be all in, and then yeah. they merge. Oh, was, I wonder yeah. if one of the nights when Peter took over Miles' body, if he was able to walk off the grounds. I yeah, wonder if or, that's... I yeah. just thought of that right now. I wonder if one of those nights when Peter took over Miles' body... He was able to, like, he tested it out with Miles and was able to, and was able to get, leave. Get past the, uh, yeah. yeah, which that could be it, right? So maybe he was that, testing that's, with Yeah, Miles. because, I mean, that's got to be what he's after. Because, like, look, they obviously they don't want to be around Bly Manor anymore. They want to be together. To me, that's the only way is if they get out of Bly Manor and getting full commitment from a child, somebody they can manipulate, somebody that can make them believe everything they say, uh, to, uh, to have like blind faith in somebody they think they care about is one awful, obviously taking advantage of it, but two, probably the only way it would work. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, the <laughs> got 100% confirmation now, Hannah's gone. So uh, my, whatever little hope I had for these last couple yeah. episodes out the door, uh, I would, I, I was confused, as you probably all saw a little bit, uh, with some of my guessing, because I was trying to connect some dots, but they just weren't lining up right until we actually got some stuff laid out. So that's that's why I was kind of confused on some of it, because it's just like, well, I can't see any game on that. Why would they do that? But then, of course, they're rolling some stuff out for you. Now it's starting to make a little bit more sense. So otherwise, I that cliffhanger here, uh, yeah. I don't think... I don't I can't think that's imagine the end that of Danny. Danny's going to go in the next episode. No, I think maybe Hannah maybe 
comes to make the save, maybe. What if Flora makes the save? I think Fl- That's what I'm wondering. If yeah. Flora's not going to see that happening to Dan- uh, Danny. Rebecca. Or, or, or we still got Rebecca. Maybe Rebecca yep. makes the save. Somebody's got to come in. Yeah, I mean, Somebody's yeah. got to step up. Well, and then or maybe kinda, not. It kind of goes back to what we what we were kind of chatting about before. Like, we're still in a story. So, yeah. like, is any of this <laughs> real? This is a long ass <laughs> story. I be, mean, we're going to get our answer. A long maybe story. Maybe on like your eighth highball going through this story. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so I'm trying to. I'm still trying to stay conscious of that. But yep. you do get sucked in. Like, oh, are they going to make it? Or are they not going to make it? But uh, wild. I can't wait to see yeah. all the answers get or all the questions get answered in these last two episodes. So another wild one here. This one didn't feel like an hour or whatever it was. It, no. it went by pretty quick. So Yeah, I mean, if it's going to be anything like Hill House, we are not going to get the absolute 100% final answer until the last minute the of very the end. last episode. So. so I think that's what we have to look forward to. So for the Appleton Oak Diamond Day of Damone, I'm Mason Quinn. This has been Bad Medicine. We're going to see you guys on the next Fly Manor. Well, they're bailing. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah, oh, no, I mean, remember I mean, she, at the end, she was getting pulled. Danny was. Yep. By no face. Oh, yeah, yep. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not leaving. And you can't make me. All you got to do is get off the ground. So. Oh. Remember the jump scare? Yeah. Yep. I mean, Danny or, or somebody's got to be around to help her, right? Oh, that was oh, interesting. That's pretty much all it took to take out Peter. So yeah. I'm Toward guessing. the middle of the 17th century. This story's still going. <laughs> hey, oh, hey! hey! That's uh, Flanagan's wife. His name is of little count. I shall take the liberty of calling him Mr. Willoughby. I know that because of all of you, so thank you. Among the young men, their friends and neighbors, there were many excellent fellows, several devoted swains, and some two or three who enjoy the reputation of universal charmers. <laughs> or conquerors. <laughs> but Viola knew them for what they were. Gluttons, opportunists, vultures. Mm, kind of getting some Pride and Prejudice vibes here. He was an honest, resolute, intelligent young man. Rich in pounds sterling, in his health and comfortable hopes, and his little capital of uninvested affections. Viola had made certain... Dude, looks like a three musketeer. That's what I was... <laughs> <laughs> the early 90s? <laughs> Charlie Sheen and Keith? Yep. I forgot the third one. <laughs> and just as Perdita began to feel the stirrings of a true interest in the young man. A real renaissance man. She got there. Oh. Oh. Bile explained she was late because of a dispute over uncollected rents. Some see an opportunity in her father's oh. passing. His heart is stolen. <laughs> it's his cousin, dude. <laughs> he may marry her. Oh, marry her sister. But there should be no mistake in the true authority of Bly Manor. Nor okay. the way things would be done. D- this distant cousin. <laughs> a fine outcome for Viola. Not by blood. <laughs> who had meant to maintain her ladyship over Bly. And a fine outcome for Perdita, who had always enjoyed the comfort of her birth station. To have and to Wait, hold what? from this day forward. For better, for worse, or richer, for poorer. In sickness and in hell. We got some Game of Thrones action yeah. here. A holy old switcheroo. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, Viola, take the author to be my lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, or in sickness and in health, to love, cherish, till death us depart. And obey, to love, cherish, and obey. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <coughs> a surprise not to Perdita, who knew her sister better than any. And a surprise not to God, thought Perdita, as her sister's strategic union was blessed. He'd made her that way, after all. Mm. So he was invited for her, but she was conveniently gone so the sister could get a feel on the guy. But there was never the sister with dude, and she didn't come home and pull the switcheroo. Mm. I was like, oh, I'll be back. Yep. And then she... Makes her grand entrance. And oh, she's no face. Oh, that's good call, Diamond. Oh. Yeah, you can kind of see just the realized, facial structure yep, in the and then outfit. The, that, the outfit is what yep. got me turned on to it. And the hair. <laughs> they must think we're so dumb. <laughs> Y'all are laughing at us. We get it. It's okay. Seized by a restlessness new to her heart, she would walk. She would sleep. She would wake. 
she would walk. Is this where we're getting the muddy footprints yeah, from? Quite a, yep. quite a routine. No, perhaps it was something else. Viola found that under its purpose, her marriage may have some amount of love to it after all. Yeah, see, there you go. That's all right. Who's this oh, creep in the back? Oh, the back? That's the sister. Was it? Fly belongs to you, and they will try to take it from you as they did me. It is us. Apparently the dad's uh, oh, off doing doing stuff and things. Those were the rosy times after Isabel was born. But nothing holds and all things change given time. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Uh, here we go. We know that story at, at Bly already, don't we? By the time one realizes it has arrived, it has already set its teeth. Oh, she busted quite the up. look. Yeah. As for Viola... Oh, her suspicion oh, oh. began as small, as inconsequential as the tickle in her lung. You think they poisoned her? Some as rare and rich as if they were spun of threads of jewels, all passed through her cunning hands, without a word of boast coming from her lips. She got cancer? Or is she being poisoned? Impossible, finally, to ignore. Mm. Oh. Uh, no, nah, I don't think she was poisoned. I think it's just a natural. <laughs> oh, I've seen those masks before. Well, we've seen it in the first few episodes. No, I want to be in our bed. We can't, love. I want to be in our bed. Arthur. Isabel. Think of Isabel. And so she passes at Bly, and she's there forever. There forever becomes faceless. Yeah. But how does that happen, though? Well, Peter, wasn't Peter mentioning something like, if you stay here long enough? You... Oh, yeah, that's right. He did. Do his magical observations <laughs> that we didn't get to see. <laughs> All right, good old, good old, old, old school medicine. <laughs> Ah, the leeches. The leeches, yeah. <laughs> that always works. Oh, a little bit of bloodletting. Yep. Yeah, jeez, that's yeah. quite a bit. She's going to let it go on the bed like that? Time paid her no mind. Days to weeks to months to years. Round and round the sun in different planets spun. And then... Isabel? Five times round the sun and all is different. Isabel. A few more minutes, please. Ah. <laughs> In fact, to learn to dance, we need only numbers. One, two, three, one, two, three. Auntie, we need music, <laughs> do we not? We need sleep. Oh, you were just an awful... <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Just one. Let's show the young thing how it's done proper. Uh-oh. Is this where a new relationship starts? I think. Well, you think they've been pals for the last five years? Well, yes. <sighs> Easy now. We got kids in the room. <laughs> oh. Wait, she's still yeah, there? Yeah, they said she hadn't gone yet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Come, let us get you back to your room. I'll prepare some herbs for your tea. I don't want tea. I want to talk to my daughter. Ugh. Almost made it. Wolf. Oh, a lot of jealousy Whoa, there. hey. <laughs> a lot of jealousy. Take me to bed. Wow. Yeah, see, I thought when they were narrating, you know, trips around the sun, I thought it meant that she was there, and then they cut to that clip. I'm like, okay, yeah. is she gone? It did give that kind of vibe, but yeah. I was still waiting for the, like, confirmation. Uh, that's, we've, seen that's, we've seen her walk that very same route. I wonder if she's maybe gone now. Mm. Nope, not yet. This breathing sounds pretty labored. Mm. 
The Lady of Bly Manor. I've no ambition. Lie. Viola, I don't. Lie. If he looks at me now and then, it is because he is lonely and he is human. It is because for the last five years, the only husbandly duty he's fulfilled is that of mourning. Ooh. I mean, I can see the points on both sides here. Think of Isabel. What will she be left with? What memories of you will she carry? Will it be this? This version of you? Because Viola with love, let it be anything else. Jeez. He's just slapping the shit out of her. Jesus Christ. Just before the sixth year of Viola's living death, she summoned to her room all of the jewels and clothes she had accumulated in her days for the sickness. Was that? No. Uh, no, that was like a it was like a square jewelry, I think, that Peter took. I don't know. Uh, it must have been. It would make sense that it was. Had to be the same one. Shrouded. Covered in rose petals. Keeping their colors in the sweet, scented darkness. Promise me that you will keep them for her. That you will keep the key. And you will never give it to anyone. Except our child. I promise you. <laughs> but for being a standalone story, this is pretty compelling here. Layers. <clears throat> But that night, as Perdita beheld her sister, so he just a left. thought occurred to her. The word had come to her a full year prior, and like the tickle in Viola's lung, it had grown. Is she going to suffocate her? She's going to put a pillow over her face. It had spread, insistent, a whisper in her ear, in her mind entire. And now the word crept down her shoulder and her elbow. <sighs> She's going to hang over the mouth. Yeah. Watch. Yeah. The, the word was mercy and the word was a lie oh the dialogue is so good in this it was a different word that had infected her all this time <sighs> the word had always been enough holy shit it took out her oh, own sister. i saw her sitting next to her i got gladiator vibes i'm like watch She's going to 86. Her. You keep the spoilers down on that. You know I haven't watched that yet. We got to do that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot. <laughs> this guy. Just wait, though. She's going to open her eyes back up. Oh, no. Spirit version of her. Arthur gonna be. boy's bereavement soberly and manfully. Wait, is he back? Yeah, he must have came back from his trip. Oh. We're... You know, That's the, layout. the keys, okay. <laughs> Man, they just don't do letters like that anymore. No, how classy would it be to start <laughs> sending out letters like that? Very soon came to be predicted that he would marry again. Oh boy, all the. All Friend the ladies are after eyes, him. he felt an echo of Viola's, and the echo, growing louder, did deafen him to the songs of others. They were married, as was becoming with great privacy, almost with secrecy, in the hopes, as was waggishly remarked at the time, that perhaps the late Viola may not hear of it. Oh, she's a 35. Wow. For Arthur, a beautiful woman, somewhat known to him already by virtue of her lineage, but Perdita's desires, as you will have observed, remained a good deal of a mystery. Her desires oh, oh, a mystery. Snap. And her adopted daughter... Refused at every turn to see her as a mother. Oh boy, look at that. What the hell is that? I don't know, that painting was no good. It was a revolting thought that these exquisite fabrics should await the commands of a little girl. And thus, on the sixth anniversary of Viola's death, Perdita yeah. had reached her limit. After all, why shouldn't I have it? That's what she's thinking. We cannot even afford a housekeeper anymore, and above us locked away are silks, jewels, and linens. Heard it. If not enough to save us, enough to right the ship. No. She would want us to. If she could have foreseen how dire things would become, how dire you have made things. Oh. <laughs> Did you not run our estate into the damned ground? 
more Point than taken. all my sister wanted Bly to flourish. <laughs> she would have done anything, everything in her power to save the manor, and you know that. It is for Isabel. The manor is for Isabel. That's true. Mm. We mustn't dispose of an oath to Viola. But what right had Violet to dispose of our future? What right had she to bind you to meanness and cruelty? No more of this. The pearl's like, I'm done. <laughs> That's enough. I'm going out to the <laughs> boat that I bought that nearly bankrupted us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to see Oh, that. she's got to be in the background somewhere, right, guys? There are the keys. Yep. Such a greedy sister. Wow, they're they're losing their house here. Fair point. But I mean, I mean, she did eighty six her sister, so let's yeah. not just gloss over yeah, that. Yeah, she's. Uh... <laughs> oh, let's see what we get from the painting. Yeah. Okay, still. You guys uh, seen like the painting slightly might... different? Maybe is she like following her? Ah, it's hard to tell a black and white. I wish I could remember what it was if she was looking to her left last time. Is that a mannequin in the back? Or? Oh, dude's not going to be happy. I don't think we need to worry about dude. I think Viola. Viola's going to be upset. Right, is it Viola? Yeah. Viola? Viola, Viola. Maybe the oh, I bet they're all going to uh, be trashed. Oh, they're you know? going to hit us. They, I know they're going to do it. Oh, they're still in good shape, it looks like. Oh, well, it should be. Yeah, I mean, I thought maybe some supernatural thing would wreck them. <laughs> oh, it's That's where it's going to come from, right there. Watch. Oh, <laughs> It's like Hill House in the car. Oh, go! Oh, that was good. Right out of the dress. Oh, 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 oh you got it. I was ready for it. <laughs> I was ready for it. I didn't think it was going to be that, oh. though. No, I was. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, that was good. Oh. Can't wait to see that in playback. I'm surprised I didn't move. Fool me once. Shame on. <laughs> You <laughs> fool me twice. We we got a shame. Can't be fooled again, people. <laughs> that was badass. <laughs> oh, I didn't uh, I didn't see that coming right out of the dress. Yeah. No, I thought maybe like dress comes down and their face, face. Yeah, boom. What's he seeing now? Whoa! Oh look at her. My God! Oh wow! Oh. What? She looks like a zombie. Dear listener. To another night, the <clears throat> night in which Viola would sleep. Now, is she gonna see? Oh, I think we're seeing like her come out, her soul. Yeah. Yep. Now we're gonna see the ghost side, mm -hmm. and then we're we gonna see the ah. Okay, so this is she, her. Now, is she going to put it together right away, though? Uh, she's no longer a person. Well, she's mm -hmm. looking pretty fresh compared to what she just was. Look at all that energy now just yeah. walking. Yeah. And the the veins on the forehead are gone. Well, what, is she in a crypt? Like a, mos a mausoleum? No, no she's, she's in a bedroom. It's her bedroom. They're the one that they had her in. Oh, it's all of her clothes wrapped in silk and rose petals. Did she need to do that in order to escape this? I'll let it play out. Those why are, are supposed to be. Why I say, front. why are they out? Yep. Is she gonna do the old hand over the flame to realize yeah. she's not uh, <laughs> not alive anymore? <clears throat> I 
think she's starting to slowly realize it. But that'd be a pretty hard thing to accept. She would sleep. She would wake. She would walk. Oh, there we go. Oh, what the hell? Oh, she's oh, she's covering the mirrors just like uh, Miss Clayton did yep. earlier. I wonder, because remember, a lot of time went by. Yep. So I wonder if we're doing that catch up, like she's rotting. Mm. Right? And time went by. How much time? It was impossible to reason. How come she doesn't have a memory that she's going back to like everybody else did? One day the locks would see their keys, and one day Isabel would open her mother's trunk and claim her reward. Uh, yep, uh, she's in there. And day after day, night after night, an ocean of time, the moment finally came. And it was this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there it is. Amazing. Oh! She crushed everything in her neck. This is nuts. So now, because of that, now she's there. Is, she's out. And that's what started all of it. Mm -hmm. Wow. But remember, her ghost is going to be there too now. They would move away from here. Sell the manor and find a quieter life, a smaller one, made only for the two of them. The two of them and also Viola. At last, at least, she'd be with them both. No matter if they couldn't see her, couldn't touch her, couldn't hear her, no matter. She'd be with them. And that was all that mattered. Oh, she's stuck though. Yeah, stuck in the trunk. His superstition defied reason, but he felt confident all the same. Whatever curse had claimed his second wife, he would not risk his daughter to its icy mm -hmm. fingers. Are they going to throw it in the lake? Oh, oh, shit! I thought that they were just going to leave. This absolute abandonment. It only caught me in that last second. The pull of that next world ignored. She instead made her own gravity. Gravity of will. That would change the terrain of Bly Manor forever. And once again, she would sleep. She would wake. Okay, I guess she just got out. She does what she wants. And she would walk. Ah, so she would do her routine. Mm-hmm. As if woken from a nightmare, she would walk back to her home. Yep. Ah, uh, the, the muddy feet. And she'd stare at that empty bed, and Viola would remember. And the remembering itself was injury and you. Just go back and chill in the lake again? <laughs> it's a routine, man. Her new home. Thus, she would sleep, and she would forget. Having forgotten, she would wake. She would walk. I wonder how many times they've made her do that. <laughs> Take 35. Her attention lay only ahead, only on the bed that was her goal. So, so how long is Bly empty? Each time she woke, would be waiting for her there. All the plague. water's in there or what? I think they're, they're using it to uh, deal with people that have the plague. Oh, yeah. She did not even realize that a decade had passed, not even realize after an outbreak of plague in the village that the empty manor had become a quarantine for the coughing death that ravaged her former community. Where is she? What are you doing in here? Oh, we can see her. I think he's talking to the person in the bed. It isn't safe. You mustn't be in this wing without... For oh, shit. Maybe not. Uh -huh. Oh, just like that? Viola faintly noticed her own attempted act. She just keeps clapping guys out here. As her memories left her, so too. Oof. Her face. So little did she remember that one night she found a child in her daughter's old bed. No. She had only the faint notion that she'd walked this far hoping to find a child, and here was a child. Oh, come on. Those souls held in her orbit. Those unfortunate structures. Oh, 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 there's the child we yeah, saw. Before, yep. 
one that Flora was Fading talking to. Well. Sorry, y'all. And that's why we keep seeing that figure mm -hmm. early in the episodes. Wow. A fate that befell Viola's once sister, now forgotten yep. in the attic, unaware that she'd ever had a sister at all. So she's been in the yep. attic forever. <clears throat> Saw that way early on. Yep. Remember when uh, she was... Shh, Flora was doing that? Into her habitual path. Oh, pizza. Stop. Stop. A fate that befell a poor valet so many years later. A fate that befell even those who died of other causes lie. Was, Peter wasn't a valet. That was uh, no. Oscar or whatever it is. Owen. Or Owen. Oscar. <laughs> no hope for the victims of lie, be they victims of fate, of vice, or disease, or of each other. And no are are seeing for the younger pair. Come on, Danny has to survive this story. Those unfortunate tenants of the gravity well. And we finally got to get out stepped of into the path of her own fate. Come on, figure something out. There's got to be a way out of this. Stay tuned for the next episode. Come on. Yep. Come on. That's what they're going to do to us. That was oh. one hell of an episode. And it was wow. interesting because uh, in the beginning of the episode, we saw Danny getting choked and dragged. We're like, oh, what's going to happen? How's it going to play out? We watched an entire episode <laughs> only to end up man, right where man, we started. Now, granted, the, the story with uh, Viola uh, and Arthur was was great. That was kind of a really cool, uh, I guess, self-contained uh, story, backstory in and of itself. That was really interesting and cool. You know, they the actors did a phenomenal job. The dialogue was great. I loved how they were telling a story just with their eyes and so many different scenes. And we had our theories uh, a couple of times there going along the way. We weren't always right. But overall, this one was a lot of fun to finally figure out who the lady coming out of the lake was. So we got some answers. Unfortunately... We didn't get any. We didn't learn anything new about Danny. Yeah, it was a, a pretty cool story. I mean, it's it's. Um, I don't want to say a, a an old story or a story that we've heard. I mean, obviously, this show is incredibly dynamic in the way they've told the story. But you know, somebody passes at the grounds. Mm -hmm. There's, uh, you know, look. There's. I don't know that there's a, a a good passing, but you know, she passed young of what I think we can assume was some sort of lung cancer or whatever. It wasn't. Yeah. It something. wasn't plague. Something along those yeah. lines. But um, you know, as as the years went by and she was battling her illness, you know, things went bad with the sister, and you know, th things weren't good. So when she passed, everything was bad, and her spirit mm -hmm. stayed there, and. Uh, wasn't real happy with anybody else there, no. but it was interesting how they said she would sleep and she would forget. Yep. So it's not as if it's this like continuously evil spirit who's like, you know, stay out of my territory. And that's how I think this differs from so many other, you know, hauntings that yeah. we see, you know, like somebody will pass at a residence and that person's, you know, spirit or soul will stay and, and haunt everybody mm -hmm. that lives there. But it was interesting the way they did twist it and say, she would sleep, she would forget, she'd go back to the room yeah. looking for her daughter. Kind of like the, the Conjuring series yeah. that we did where the spirit would just stay there and always had that anger and rage every yeah, single this day. Was, this was different. So, I mean, it's similar in that somebody passed in the home, couldn't really leave. Uh, you know, Hotel California, you know. <laughs> but this was this was interesting. I mean, it was, it was a good story. Um, I, I'm thankful that I prepared myself for that little jump scare. Uh, jump scare was good. I knew something was coming. I thought when they, they had her, you know, had there and the, the other, you know, two thirds of the screen was blacked out. I'm like, it's going to come right out of there. Yeah. But they, they caught us with something new. Yeah. I don't think anybody could have expected that. But this was a, another great episode. And I'm really excited for the finale. You know, when we uh, I'll admit, starting off, I was like, oh, you know, we're going to what are we going to get here to divert off from Danny? And, mm. you know, I was, I was kind of hesitant, uh, just because of some other TV shows, you know, where they really draw out, like <laughs> <laughs> they, they just take you along for a, a un, unnecessary ride. Not that I was expecting it. Cause we only have one episode left after this, but I was just kind of like wondering, Oh man, are they going to drag something out here? What, what's going to go on? As time went on, that's when it kind of clicked when I saw her in the uh, gown. And I'm like, oh, that's that's her. Yep. It's the lady in the lake. Uh, but, yeah, from there on, I, I'm going to have to watch this again because I was doing a lot of anticipating 
for, for some things, which probably shouldn't have done because I feel like I may have missed some of that dialogue that was probably going to make sense, either a couple things that I had questions to or probably setting up what's coming up in episode nine here. So I'm going to have to rewatch this one. But otherwise, I agree with both of you. Fantastic story here. It's great that we got even more answers. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, gosh, what's <laughs> left for episode nine besides, you know, a scene if Danny makes it? Yeah, I mean, that's that's really all that's left. I think we see if Danny makes it and what, what Flora's fate ends up being. And, uh, you know, what happens with Owen and, and the others who we presume are still with us. Well, and we're still being told a story. Like, this episode was 100% from Carla from the first episode. Narration. Yeah. This Narration. Is a, this is a long-ass <laughs> story. These people were sitting around having some drinks. <laughs> and, and uh, Maybe yeah. they're getting the condensed version. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, Maybe. Like, I think this is the played out. out version. So there's now, this like, super <laughs> fancy manner and crazy shit happening nonstop. But, but yeah, this is... it's. It's good. It's pretty brilliant. Yeah, I'm time. real curious about Jamie and Owen now. And obviously, yeah. we know Flora is pretty good, but uh, from my understanding, Miles is gone because of what Peter and Miles kind of committed to. Yeah, that's yeah. kind so of my understanding. What unless... happens when they battle? Is, is that and what we're going to see? Is like a mini battle now between, well, yeah. Miles, Peter? I mean, unless uh, they can or... somehow pull Peter out of Miles and then the kids end up making it, I mean, who knows? I guess we'll find out here in episode nine. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, for the Appleton Oak, that's Diamond Dave Damone. I'm Mason Quinn. We will see you guys back for the next Bly Matter. I don't want to step away. I want to stay here with you. No, I can't. Who's that creeping in there? I looked at you and I always forgot myself for a moment. God knows I tried not to think of you. Got the butterflies. I loved you, Evan. Of course, they punch us in the gut with this story. Mm -hmm. You have loved me. So I'll always be here. But you don't want me to be her. Nor the kids. If I leave, I don't know where I'll go after. So be brave in death, Hannah. Come on, Hannah. You gotta save the day here. <laughs> Okay, Danny's gonna get saved by Hannah. Got to, has to. Oh boy. She bringing her in the house? Yeah, that she drags him wherever she goes. Yeah. Oh, right through her. Oh, there's a ghost moment. Yeah. Jesus. Now, like, what did that do to Hannah? Is it more yeah. like a... Okay. I, I feel like the clock is really ticking here on yeah, Danny. It's, it's yeah, interesting it's that... Just, nah, she doesn't got yeah. much law. It's, it's interesting. She's being drugged into the house and Peter was taken out. Well, she got the... Yeah, wh whatever path she was on. Yeah, that's this where This time she's she walking into her. the bedroom. That's where she caught her. Yep. Like that shot. Okay, so the bedroom is where she does her business, yep. so... Oh, who's that? Oh. <laughs> Come on. Oh, she's unconscious. Yeah. <clears throat> Let her go. Please. She's going to remind her of her daughter. That's who she came. Look, that's who she came looking for every yep. night. See? Um, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, She's going to walk back out to the lake. Yep. Like she did with the other. Oh, yep. no. Oh, Flora. Huh. Oh, Miles is going to step in because he thinks it's uh He's going to think it's Rebecca. I gave you your freedom and you're letting it drown. Oh, oh. wow. Okay. Oh, he's, he's got us. He's going to take it. He's going to make the save because, well, it's his daughter. Yeah. Hey! I'm a Put her down! You have to do better than that. Put her down! Oh, jeez. Oh. oh. Help! 
how fast his color's draining from his face. Wait, is he Dunzo? No, I don't. I can't be. He is. Yes. Oh, jeez. That was fast. I mean, Danny held out for so long. She's got to come up with something. Oh, and no, there's it's Owen. Owen. No, it's Jamie. Jamie and Owen. And Owen, yeah. We both had an awful dream and we just drove and... The lake. They, they need you at the lake. Yeah, oh, on. wow. Dude, how are they going to stop her? I don't know. What do you mean, shh? Why don't you do something? It's not okay. You won't feel bullshit. Okay, I'll feel it for you. I'll just tuck you away oh. one last time. Jesus Christ. You're not even going to try? It's us. Mommy. There, my darling. It's all right. Come on. Henry's. Something she did not entirely understand, but something she felt in her bones. She had to try. It's, it's you! It's us! What? She gonna. Is Danny gonna sacrifice herself? She's going to trade places with the, the woman in the lake. What the she, shit she's, just happened? She's going to give her her body. When he checks the well, please tell Owen I'm sorry. Tell him I love him. And the rest, well, it's just... <laughs> oh, got him back. What is going on? <clears throat> Holy sh... I thought we lost him. Yeah. I, Danny had to make some kind of deal with her. Now, is that really Danny? And all of the spirits trapped in her gravity were released. Uncle Henry. So sorry, kids. I'm so very sorry. So that's Viola now? Yeah. Where's Hannah? Well. So Hannah wasn't dead the whole time. Owen assisted five men from town where they gently lifted the housekeeper's body from the well. It was assumed she died accidentally. Mm. An unfortunate stumble. Yeah, a stumble called him Peter. Mm. My favorite is when he taught me how to sew patches into the knees of my trousers. That he knew how to sew? Oh, very well, in fact. Will you teach me how to sew patches onto things? If you like. I mean, we're not even 20 minutes in. I feel like the story's wrapped up. I do. <laughs> he stayed at her side until she was buried, and he loved her the whole way. I'm told, and I believe, that he loves her still. You're about done up here. This is going to get weird. Yeah. I mean, look at her eyes. They're different colors. Yep. Your son? Danny. I think it's like a hybrid. Like she's part of Danny, it. part of... She's waiting. At some Ugh. point, she's going to take me to your company while you wait for your beast in the jungle. Do you want company? Just <laughs> wait for the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, that's the thing about adventures. You're not meant to know. For you. Oh, does it have a face? <laughs> Are you sure you want to give me this one? Must have it. It's you. Uh, uh. Good show, boss. Take care. Be <clears throat> safe. I think Flora just meant that as a gift. I don't know if there was anything. Where would we be, we wretched people, without the generosity of our betters and luck? You all right, Buffins? Is she going to be able to leave? I was just thinking that, like... Oh, boy. Well, remember, that's how Peter and Rebecca were going to leave, is take other bodies. Yeah. He couldn't leave on his own, but if oh. they were in a body, they could leave. But all the curse and all that stuff's 
<laughs> supposedly lifted. I mean, I guess we'll see. What? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> if you keep driving north, it looks pretty rural. Lots Question of green. answered. Maybe in a few weeks we could take the train. Get to Vermont around Christmas. Oh, so they made it to America. A trip around the sun. And she was still here. She was still her. Have something for you. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Is that one of the moonflowers? Is that a moonflower? Yeah. They're really rare, you know. I've got a problem. Or rather, we've got a problem, Poppins. Poppins? <laughs> I'm actually pretty in love with you, it turns out. <laughs> Just that one eye, just. <laughs> Easy, we got customers outside. No, she, <laughs> she put the clothes the sign on. on the now they might be walking by. At long last, deep within the au pair's heart, there was peace. And that peace held for years. Ha, ha, ha. Here we go. Is more than some of us ever get. What triggers it? Oh. oh. She's coming for her. What the f Back to the reflections. Oh no, you don't think she uh, self deletes, do you? How many years in this kitchen? I think she's going to beat her. I think shite. she's going to beat the spirit. She's going to learn to live with it, learn to deal with it. Well, there's your problem. Your roots. Oh, ring. Woo. Oh, what a trick. <laughs> and I don't know how much time we have left. But however much it is. We can wear the rings in one now, okay? And that's enough for me. If it's enough for you. Still thinking tragedy. I don't think so. I think. We're really gonna, hope I'm wrong here. Uh, that reflection in that glass was pretty trippy. <laughs> Better stir that pasta sauce. You're just gonna have a mess over there in the yeah, stove. Yeah. See, look. Oh, she's nervous. That speech she gave. Uh, don't know how much time's left. Something. But I'll never forget how badly it annoyed her until she finally had to laugh. And nothing was better than that woman's laugh. To Hannah. To Hannah. I'm actually kind of surprised it's not called Hannah's. <laughs> A batter place. <laughs> you heard from Henry recently? Uh, check in every now and again. Uh-oh. Oh. Don't look. <sighs> but hey, they are growing up and getting out into the world. Kid wants to chat to a couple of old people, eh? There's got to be a way Danny can get rid of her. They all came here a few months back. On holiday, back across the pond on an adventure. Henry, Miles, Flora, Flora's boyfriend. Flora's got a boyfriend? <laughs> She's 12. She's 17. <laughs> She's 12. It's interesting, though, the way they talk about Bly. You talked about what happened? They don't remember anything about it. What? Nothing. It's just the kids. Henry still remembers all of him. Oh. But I mentioned Hannah. Well, that's good. Asked me who I was talking about. It's been this way a while, Tanzan. It's probably good. The kids yeah. will be traumatized. Let them live their lives the way they should, without anything hanging over them. Viola wants to know. They deserve that. We all do. What? What? Why is there so much time left? <laughs> Are we going to talk? Take that as no. Oh, the old silent treatment. <laughs> ah. Jesus, what's going on? Are you okay? What happened? Start talking to Jamie. Yeah. Thank you. She's there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. It's gone. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna be okay. Oh no, she's gonna take a. Well, keep an eye on it, and it'll be fine. I'll do the washing up for John one. Yeah. Oh. You should it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Mirrors and glass and everything that happened when we started this journey. Mm-hmm. Well, look, you were shite. I've got it. Our union is officially civil. Oh, blood. What's, why, Look at that. It's water. It looks like that's enough now. 
Knew it. Oh, she's in the tub over fluid. She went yep. back into the lake. Honey? Just staring at her. Dunny, Dunny, Dunny. Glad I was wrong. <laughs> oh, I thought she was going to be drowning in the tub. Uh, yep. I still think Danny's going to beat it. And every day we're living our lives, I'm aware of that. It's like I don't feel it all the way. I'm not even scared of her anymore. It's because you got to get her out of there. I just stare at her. But how? Let's call Ed and Lorraine. I'm here sitting next to you, but I'm just really hurt. One day at a time. Wake up, walk the hall, <laughs> come back, go to sleep. Oh boy, here we go. <coughs> What are you doing? That's creepy. Imagine waking up to that. Yeah. Remember, oh, in the first one, remember, he woke up and she had the knife over, or the screwdriver. Yeah. In, remember uh, in, in Hill House. Hill House, yeah. That was in Hill House, though. So. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm, but remember in Hill House, he woke up and she was over with the screwdriver. Yeah, similar that. deal. Yeah. You that? Yeah. I don't know what it was, though. My chair. <laughs> the au pair knew the moment had come. The beast had lurked indeed, and the beast, at its hour, had sprung. And she could not risk the most important thing. Her most important person. Not for one more day. She's going back to Bly? No way. And so the gardener found herself back at Bly Manor one last time. So who's living there now? Yeah, who's... Or do they just keep it as a summer home? I think that's still? what they said. Yeah, it's their summer home. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The kids just remember. Well, I wonder if they were talking about... Yeah, that's like the, the flannel she was wearing in the dream. Yep. Well, at least it's daylight. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong in the daylight? I mean, at this point, you might as well just dive in, go to the bottom. See if she can find her. Yep. No. Uh, did she really do it? In fact... No one would ever be taken again, and no one has been taken to this day. Damn it. It's not really the ending I was hoping for. I was really hoping to be wrong on that. So everything ends with that right there. Yeah, because they got rid of Viola. She'd leave a door open at night. Does the crack, should she ever come back? waiting for her lover to return. Years would go by, and as she slept underneath the water, the au pair's memories would fade. <laughs> here's our, here's our party. She would know nothing of the gardener, nothing of their life together. The details, the specific moments, would all fade away. More time will pass, and the water will wash away the delicate features of her. The bride looked thrilled. <laughs> she will merely walk the grounds of Bly, harmless as a dove, for all of her days, leaving the only trace of who she once was in the memory of the woman who loved her most. She's the gardener. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I told you. The story wasn't exactly <laughs> short. <laughs> <laughs> My God. She's Jamie. Christ, is that the time? Big day tomorrow. Let's get some rest. Well, thanks for the uplifting story. <laughs> Bro was standing the whole time. <laughs> I think I'll stay here a moment, just enjoying the fire. All right. I love you. Love you so. 
was waiting for her to say perfectly splendid. Mm -hmm. Loved you as much as you love them. I start getting really, really terrified that he's gonna, before I do, and then what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to just live a life that he's not in? One day at a time. It is rare what you've got. But when the time does come, years and years from now, mind you, <laughs> will be hard every day and it won't get easier. <laughs> so uplifting. <laughs> Jesus, you, you're young. You should sleep. Thank you. I feel like I should hug you. It's all right. Mm. Yep, there's the ring. Yep. Jamie! I thought you might be making it up just off that name. That name? But then I figured, how could you know that? It's a funny coincidence, I suppose. Come on, say your Flora. My middle name is Flora. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Hmm. Huh. Good night. Good night. Oh, it can't be Flora. She doesn't have the accent. <laughs> yeah, but she's been in America since she was... Uh -huh. That can go away. So was that Flora? Come yeah. to me. What? I don't that's, know. that's Flora. Well, someone correct me if I'm yeah. wrong here, but Say, I, they're playing it out like now she, Jamie is at the wedding. Yeah, but Flora's why would wedding. Jamie be telling everybody a story about when Flora was a kid? Well, because Flora doesn't remember. Flora doesn't remember. Yeah. yeah. So in a way, she was telling Get Flora. In. And look, there's Uncle. Is that Uncle Henry? Yep. Yeah. Well, holy shit, it's everybody. Oh, he's old now. That's, that's Miles? That's Miles? <laughs> it doesn't look anything like Owen. <laughs> Miles and Owen? <laughs> no, they didn't. Not, not even close. I think she's just seeing yeah. them in this moment. I don't think it's them. Oh, I 1,000%. It is them. Yeah. 1,000% uh. it's them. But yeah, all they had—they didn't need to get in a stand-in for Owen. All they had to do was throw yeah, some just gray, put some gray in his hair. Yeah. yeah. I turn away from you. I'm so happy tonight. She's gonna do one last check before we fade to black or something. Oh, what was that for? I feel like there's some symbolism there. Well, Otherwise, it was just a leave tease. Leave the water. Leave the door oh, leaving open. Leaving the door cracked. Every yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a hotel. Who leaves hotel, hotel doors open? <laughs> she's gonna have a she's gonna have a awfully sore neck if she sleeps like that. We're gonna see a shadow, aren't we? Something. Whose hand is on her yep. shoulder? Oh yep. That's all they're gonna give us. Huh. I'm well done. Kind of mixed on that on that finish. Are you? Yeah, I, I am. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, that was the end of the haunting of Bly Manor final episode. Everything was wrapped up and explained to us, and I, I got us like I was telling Diamond Dave. I'm kind of mixed on that finish. I didn't like really losing Danny, and like you know, I get she made the ultimate sacrifice to save Flora and and everybody else and, and and that sort of thing but i was just hoping there was some way they could you know get rid of that spirit of viola that's trapped inside her and i was really hoping for i, I guess it was asking a lot hoping for a, a happier ending in the story that was so outstanding and so good i mean look i can see why they went the direction that they did and i and i'm i get it i'm i'm all right with it but i just would have liked to have seen danny and jamie just after everything they went through and all the stuff at Bly Manor, just let them live out their days. Maybe they somehow, Viola just goes away or they're able to exercise her somehow. Uh, but that, that's what I would have liked to see. But you don't always get what you want. And uh, overall, still a fantastic series. Uh, are we doing ratings on this one? Not a rip. Yeah, I mean, this is this is easily a 4.75 out of 5 answers for me. It just it gets dinged at the end because I, I wanted to see Danny happy. But uh, other than that, this was a lot of fun. Thank you to everybody out there who recommended it. And uh, I'm going to shut up now and hear what the other guys got to say. Yeah, it de definitely an interesting ending. I 1,000% I did not see it coming that it was Jamie sitting there telling the story of Bly to everybody that mm -hmm. lived the story that she was telling. 
Now, we got narration that the kids didn't really remember it. They just remembered it as their summer home. But would, you know, and she's like, oh, my middle name is, is Flora. You know, and she had to have known. It's just, it's, it's weird. I, I feel like I got to watch it again and, 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 yeah. and maybe watch some other videos. Because the girl is sitting there and she's like, oh, I felt like you just made up the names. But, you know, my name was F Flora. Okay, well, yeah. if it's Flora's wedding... Okay, then how did Jamie get there? Jamie would have been invited as, hey, I was the gardener. I helped you when you grew up. I'm having right. a hard time wrapping my brain around the way they ended that. So you had Henry there. You had Miles there. You had Owen there. You had Flora there. And But they, did we, though? Yeah, but if they were talking, if that's who it was at the end or... Or did she so, just see those characters no, and all those people that yeah, but went there? She's like, okay, so my middle name is Flora. So she was, so so that was Flora, but and the kids have memory of Bly. Okay, so, so I'm trying to I'm trying to think so, back like, to the remember, narration. So remember, Owen was explaining to Jamie and Danny that the restaurant yeah. they like. Uh, so remember, they yeah. were talking about Hannah. They said they slightly like remember. Hannah, but that's it. They're like they they don't remember anything else yeah. about Hannah. They just kind of slightly remember. Right, but the the but. fact that they they knew that Bly was their summer home, Henry would have had because Henry had memories there. Yep, they said so that. She starts Henry. telling uh, this story, and Henry's sitting there. It's presumably, well, it was the older guy because they they showed us. Yep. So Henry would have like known, and like she's telling the story about Henry, and like the adultery that the kids wouldn't have known. Right. I, this ending like really, really throws me off. Like I said, I'm I'm gonna have to go watch some some videos that explain this because yeah. I'm really I'm super confused right now. If that was supposed to be Henry and she was telling the story to Miles. He would know all of it. Henry and Flora and Owen. Henry would have memories of that, and it would seem pretty inappropriate in front of Flora and Owen to be like, "Yeah, so anyhow." Well, and and well, so would well, Owen for well, that. Dad matter. was going on business trips. Mom yeah. was there in love. Yeah. I come. I don't understand that ending at all. Yeah, I, if I'm being perfectly honest with you, and I've paid, you know, we we, we look. We, we this isn't sitting on Netflix uh, at my house while I'm checking my phone and yeah, we're dogs barking. Dialed and guys trying to play with dinosaurs. I mean, we're hyper focused <laughs> when we watch these shows. And I gotta be honest, like, I, and I'm sure I'll watch some YouTube videos and read some stuff after like, this. Uh, but right now, my initial, I, I, I have, I do not understand what just happened at all. And I'm usually those of you who follow our videos, I, I feel like I'm a pretty perceptive person. I don't understand how this plays out. If it's the kids, even if they don't have memory, they would know that they were, they at least had a summer house at some mansion. And mm -hmm. she's talking about it. And even if it wasn't Bly, the two kids say, hey, we grew up in this, like, castle. Oh, it's a story about another family with a mansion. Right. But why would she be? She, obviously, Flora knows who she is. I mean, she like, got, like you I said, she got go invited. Back, I almost, like, want to go back and watch the first episode to see how this, like, sit down, like, happens. Yeah, how it came about. Because maybe they, maybe they said something. Maybe they mentioned, oh, she's a... This, a relative of somebody is or super, something. Explain it's it. Super confused. I'm just. Yeah. I'm not even. I'm. Yeah. I'm super confused right now because. How about the oak? Uh, yeah. I'm honestly 50-50 on if that even actually was the family that we saw, or if Jamie is just seeing that in these people. I'm. No, so I'm, I'm 50 thinking. 50. Yeah. Dude, let's, I'm so thinking. Let's, let's bounce this around a little yeah. bit because I'm. I'm totally lost. I almost want to like Google it on my phone right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of thinking, and of course, let me know if i'm like way off base here she was kind of hinting flora said you kind of missed something i know it was hey it's a love story but how much of it did jamie like kind of skew to tell the story to maybe protect a little bit well i mean from what we saw she told everything as we would know uh, it. here's from, another thing from flora, the outside looking flora in. look and I, I i can't speak to how common the name flora is in the UK, um, but in the United States, it's not a very common name at all. I don't know yeah. that I've ever met anybody named Flora uh -oh. ever. Oh, there's a daughter named Flora. No shit, that's my middle name. <laughs> what and, are the odds? And Miles. Yeah. Oh, that's my. Yeah, you know, I mean, I just, yeah. I just, I'm super confused at this yeah. ending. And like I said, I, I think the writers did such a good job with uh, with Hill House, and such a good job with uh, with with Bly that I feel like. I'm going to go back and read stuff and have like this aha moment. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right now, 
it's not coming to me at all. And it's, uh, it's just straight up. I'm super confused. How about your answer rating? I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to give it any rating. I, I can't even rate it. Dude, I have no idea what's happening <laughs> right now because if, if it's her sitting around telling the story of their own lives, then it's like, you know, that, that thing at the end when she was like, Oh, well, my middle name is Flora. It's like, you would think like the gardener would like no yeah yeah I know like what are the what are the odds that you would uh, no right I, I gotta be yeah. I'm so I'm so see con- that's that's what makes me believe it's not them and Jamie just sees her memories the you know the thing that's interesting is that you know Jamie wasn't even uh, you know Jamie as the gardener wasn't really uh, a flushed out character until the last couple of episodes really I mean uh, she didn't have a whole lot of screen time yeah I'm. I'm super. Come All right. On, you know what? Let's, let's just solve let's, this now. Let's do. Yeah. Okay. So let's we're solve this right now. Is there, a, is there a shorter one than 14 minutes? No, of no, course no, no. not. We'll okay. watch this. <laughs> and it's heavy spoilers. All right, folks. So please keep the comments coming. But for now, we are we are going to jump into heavy spoilers. I know a, probably a good handful of you or maybe even the majority of you know his uh, channel. So we are going to check this out here. I need this so bad. <laughs> I need this explanation. Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show. I'm your host, Paul, aka the Headless Hostman, and this video we're breaking down the ending of The Haunting of Blind Manor. There will be heavy spoilers here, so if you haven't had a chance to check out the season yet, then I highly recommend that you check out now. Please smash that <laughs> thumbs up button if you think ghost puns Please are the sheet, one. and subscribe to the channel <laughs> because that's the spirit. With that out of the way, thank you for clicking this. Now let's get into the breakdown before I ruin the video with these terrible puns. Now, The Haunting of Bly Manor is loosely based on the book The Turn of the Screw. This psychological supernatural horror has been the basis for a lot of ghost stories such as The Innocents, The Haunting, The Others and even The Turning which was released earlier this year. Unlike the other adaptations though, Bly Manor isn't so much a ghost story as it is a loved one. The show carries the central theme of memory as well as the past, and the series showcases how several characters are haunted by theirs. There's a real dichotomy here with us seeing how some characters will try and escape their past, whilst others won't let go of it. If you've seen Flanagan's other work, Doctor Sleep, you may remember in that that there was a line that stated memories are the real ghosts, and though we do get our fair share of the supernatural here, it definitely feels like it dabbles in this motif. We pick up at a wedding dinner rehearsal and are introduced to Jamie, a woman who recounts the story of her deceased lover Danny, an au pair that worked at Bly Manor in the 80s. Danny is haunted by the ghost of her ex-fiance, who tragically died several years prior, and she moves out of the UK in order to get away from this. Throughout the series, it's revealed that Danny is actually gay, and when she came out to her partner, he ended up getting knocked over. Man, remember that His scene? ghost has followed her since this moment, and she's desperate to try and escape him and her past. Ultimately, when one is trying to flee from something, they often are unable to because the thing that they're trying to run away from will inevitably become their driving force, and her inability to let go ends up making her constantly live in fear. This is reflected in several of the characters that we meet throughout the season, including Henry Wingrave. A lot of the character arcs in the show actually stem from Henry, and he oversees his brother's estate who sadly died before the events of the series. It's revealed that Henry had an affair with his sister-in-law and that he is actually the father of Flora, one of the children that lives at the manor. Because of his guilt over this, Henry has mentally manifested a darker version of himself that he has to live with. Instead of facing up to the fact that he should take responsibility for both Flora and her brother Miles, he stays in his office, ringing the manor in the hopes that one day he will have the guts That's the to thing tell at the, the truth. Wedding too. It's like, this oh, also by Peter the way, Quint, yeah. who actually your dad. one could call the villain of the show, and in prior adaptations he was certainly portrayed this way. However, Bly Manor paints him out in a much more complicated light, and we realise that he's not only trying to escape the abuse that he suffered as a child, but he also refuses to let go of the one good thing in his life. That is, Rebecca, the prior au pair at the manor, who ends up falling in love with Peter. After Peter is killed by one of the ghosts, known as the Lady of the Lake, he manipulates Rebecca into dying too, because he refuses to let go of her. Peter even takes Rebecca to some of their happier moments in order to make it seem like they will live like that forever, when in reality, his inability to let go of the past leads to them being trapped in a living hell on the grounds. 
It's said that Peter doesn't understand the difference between love and possession and this becomes literal when he and Rebecca try to take over the children's bodies in order to escape the grounds. Rebecca doesn't go through with this and she becomes one of the first characters to truly break the cycle that so many of them end up becoming victims to. Our next character is Hannah, an almost Dr. Manhattan-like ghost who can't accept her death because of the repercussions it would have on her mentally. She lives moments of her life almost simultaneously, jumping about from the past to the future and due to her inability to accept her fate, she is truly unable to hold on to any of the moments that she experiences. Now it is revealed that the spirits within the house are all sucked into a gravity well of despair caused by the Lady of the Lake. We learn the lady was the prior owner of Bly Manor and that she was killed by her own sister who smothered her on a deathbed. The lady, known yes, as Viola, mm -hmm. wished to see her daughter more than anything and this memory tortured her ghost for decades, ultimately becoming her driving force in the end. Viola would lie at the bed of the lake located at Bly Manor and every night she would wander into the house mercilessly murdering all that crossed her path <laughs> in the search for her daughter. I love how this motif was first set up in what was a purgatory for her and after waking up dead, she walks the room, returns to her bed and then rinse and repeat. This ends up happening on a grander scale with her wandering the halls at night and it's also the reason why the children tell Danny that she mustn't go about the house in the darkness as, like clockwork, Viola will roam the halls. On the first day, oh, I you did 12, stupid ass. ass. And I was like, wow. But heavy spoilers need cool. to get paid. We had about so. eight. True. This idea of holding onto the past drives her mad, and the never ending Don't search for her daughter <laughs> causes a lot of misery. <laughs> the lady never finds her, but she carries out this routine in the hopes of one day coming across her so that the two can be reunited. After all the memories of her life fade away, she still instinctively carries out this search, even though she doesn't know why. Finally, this idea of repetition and holding on to the past is mirrored in Jamie, who runs okay, back to Danny every night and leaves the door unlocked in the hopes that one day the two will meet again. Now those are the key players that we kind of have to discuss in order to fully process the ending and the events that happen in the show. I don't want to do a full season recap as chances are you've already watched it, but just to add some context, the basic plot follows Danny as she unearths the truth about the house including what really happened with Peter and Rebecca's death. As we mentioned, Peter ends up possessing Miles and Rebecca lets Flora go which allows Danny to escape the house with her. However, things hit the fan when the Lady of the Lake arrives and she attempts to kill Danny and pull her into her gravity well. However, Flora poses as her daughter and due to her existing purely on instinct, she attempts to take her back to the lake. Danny gives herself up to the ghost by uttering the phrase, it's you, it's me, it's us. This is something that had existed in the house for centuries, passed on by the inhabitants and ghosts yep. to the living, who then passed it on to the following occupiers. Now though we don't get this confirmed, I do believe that it was Rebecca who possessed her in some manner in order to make her aware of the words and thus she was oh, able to invite Viola's ghost into herself. Her with the lady's up. gravity of despair now living within Danny, the spirits of the house are finally released. The family and Danny and Jamie move to the US and the latter pair try and build a life together, aware that one day Viola will take over. Though gay marriage wasn't legal at the time, the two decide to wear their rings as a sign of their commitment and they spend years with each other. However, Viola starts to appear in reflections, much like how Danny's ex-fiancé did. This time though, it's much worse as the ghost is in place of her and thus the PTSD from her prior haunting starts to make her doubt whether she can remain in control of the situation. One day Danny finds herself almost strangling Jamie and she realises that they can't risk the danger that Viola poses. Thus she heads back to the manor and drowns herself in the lake. The routine of Viola overpowers her but Danny holds herself at the bottom of the lake waiting until the lady fades like all memories do. Jamie spends years waiting for her lover to return and we realise that she has been in fact narrating the events of Blight to Flora and the guests of her wedding. We learn that both Miles and Flora slowly forgot the events of the manor and their memories faded as they grew. Because they were able to let go of the past, primarily due to their age, they were able to move on and build lives for themselves. Memories work twofold and though they can give you purpose, which we saw demonstrated in some of the ghosts, they can also hold you back. 
Now the show has a very bittersweet ending with us seeing that the characters have grown older and moved on from the events of the series, except for Jamie who still holds out for the return of Danny. Not, not gonna lie, that, that song at the end had me a bit, well there was some <laughs> dust in the room but, but you know. Now the series ends with Jamie sitting in her chair with the door open and we see Danny's hand come into the shot. She's still wearing the wedding ring that the pair bought as a symbol of their love and finally she's returned after escaping the lake. But how was this possible? Well the main thing that was keeping the ghosts on the ground was Viola and her gravity well that pulled all the spirits to the location. This is how they were unable to leave and they remain on the property living so long that they forgot their lives, identities and even what they look like. I believe that the same thing happened with Viola and with Danny holding her in place for decades, she slowly started to forget everything until there was a point in which she would finally forget about her hold over Danny and let go of her. As Danny was much younger than her and hadn't spent the centuries prior on the lake bed, she still had memories of her life. The fact that she would be able to return to Jamie if she just outlasted Viola gave her a purpose and thus she remained in place. Jamie's memories of their life together too is what gave her a purpose and even though the show wrestles back and forth with letting go of the past and holding onto it, I think when it's a positive memory it very much carries the message that one shouldn't let go. Nowhere is this more prevalent than in the opening episode in which Owen practices his wedding speech. He states that the worth of loving someone is also worth the pain of losing them and though we are all destined to leave behind the ones that we love at some point, the memories that we have of them are what we'll truly hold on to. It's very, very bittersweet and just as Flora has a life ahead of her in which she will lose the person she loves eventually, she's likely going to create a lot of amazing memories with him. That's the central theme of the show to me at least and in the end Jamie is reunited with the one that she loves, much like how Owen and Hannah will be, Peter and Rebecca were and Henry and his daughter are as they dance at the latter's wedding. It brings everything full circle and closes out the season on a high note and oh, I'm not say crying, so. I'm crying. <laughs> now before we get into the review I just want to let you know we're giving away 3 copies of the Marvel Phase 1 box set to our subscribers. All you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave your thoughts on the show in the comment section below. The winner is going to be chosen at random on the 30th so of October and the set will be shipped you, out from then to whoever gets the prize, the so best of luck to everyone yeah. who takes part. Okay so The Haunting of Hill House is actually my favourite Netflix show ever. I found that it perfectly handled the themes of family, the horror elements and told the heartwarming story of Hill House in the perfect way. What wasn't that heartwarming I suppose. Now naturally I was very hyped for this season but I think that that may have led to me being slightly disappointed in it. But though it has some brilliant moments, on the whole I felt that it's slightly paled in comparison to the prior entry. To me the characters just weren't as interesting as the cranes and whereas that had episodes uh, that really I gave light that, to I each guess. character that allowed you to get swept up in their lives, here I found it really difficult to, to engage with anyone. I feel like there's so many elements remixed here that don't quite capture the imagination of the original. For example, the twist with Hannah is very similar to the bent neck lady, they go through the adults lives and then the kids get episodes, they have a character that's haunted by his own visions of someone close to him and it just follows the same sort of steps. Even the background ghosts this time feel like they've, they've just been placed there to recapture the original series and play on its motifs without truly pushing the boat out. Now it certainly isn't bad but the pacing is slightly off and at 9 hours I do feel like there are several elements that could have been cut here to provide a much brisker storyline. There's only so many times Danny can wander around the home before it becomes repetitive and though the background ghosts, you know, they, they were fun to spot, at points it felt as empty as the halls oh. of the house itself. Now saying that, it is brilliantly directed and acted too. Everyone here handles the material really well and each character is memorable However, the pacing just leaves things feeling a bit off at times, especially when this is a story that's been adapted countless times before. I think when we hit Viola's backstory, things slow to a crawl and by the time we return to the characters for the finale, it just feels a bit disjointed. We then spend a lot of time out of the house for the last hour, I don't know, kinda, kinda <laughs> Return of the King did a bit for me. I still love you Flanagan and I'm very hyped to see what the director does next. But for now, I don't know how I feel about this. 
I was going to score this season, I think I'd give it a 6 out of 10, but who knows whether that's going to improve or decrease after a revisit. I actually watched the series twice in preparation for this, just to make sure I was bang on with my score, and by the end of it, I do still stand by it. So, so we did get our answers. It was indeed, it was the family and everybody involved from Bly Manor at the wedding, 100% confirmed. They just don't remember it. They don't remember anything? That's Nobody remembers anything. Uh, Henry, throughout the entire time, she's sell it's telling like, uh, this story. seemed to recall doing something like that at one point. doesn't <laughs> think like, hey, nope. this is sounds I kind of really died. <laughs> or Owen, <laughs> sounds familiar. Or the kids have no memory of it. I... Geez. And here, like, and we look, we made multiple passing jokes throughout the course of this thing. We watched nine hours of, of film. The story was incredibly detailed and incredibly long mm -hmm. from a narration standpoint. Nobody sits down <laughs> at a wedding and says, let me tell you a story for, let's say it was condensed two, three hours. Eh. Nobody sits and tells a, a two or three hour story at a wedding, realistically. So the entire premise of the narration of this story to a group of people sitting at a wedding after the rehearsal dinner uh, is is interesting, especially given it was the night before a wedding. Like, uh, it doesn't feel like the kind of, like, oh, it's a ghost story, it's here's, a love story. Here's a real downer for you yeah, before hey, your big we're, day. We're here for a wedding <laughs> tomorrow, but here's, oh, everybody's dying and love, and I, uh, I don't know. Like, I, throughout the show, I liked it, but the fact that that was all them, I get it. Like, all oh, the kids mm -hmm. didn't remember you know, the, the kids didn't remember this, the specifics of it. I honestly, like, I, I gotta be honest with you. Like, I don't remember who babysat me when I was five or six years old. I mean, my parents could tell me. And I have very, like, you know, vague memories from being, like, that young. Um, certain, I, I, you know, when you start having, I have, I have a couple of really, like, very small snippets of memory, I think, from when I was maybe, like, five, like preschoolish. I remember yep. me. Yep, like, I remember. A couple, I a couple guys were, like, my best friends. In grade school and high school, I vaguely remember meeting them at, at preschool. I yep. vaguely remember some things from kindergarten. I remember being in sixth grade and watching the the, 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 the space shuttle blow up on the TV in kindergarten. But it, to, to for, completely forget that they, they were at the house, you know, hey, we're talking about Bly Manor, this this giant yeah. mansion with all these rooms. Hey, it sounds like, you know, <laughs> sounds, sounds like, like a where summer we house. Grew up with grounds, and, yeah. and Henry would remember it. And Owen, I mean, you wouldn't just. You wouldn't, Owen wasn't an adult when all this stuff happened. Yeah. And she's telling the story. Like, this, this seems. See, that's what threw I me off. I think I really need to watch. Yeah. Like, this was a spoiler of here's what happened. I need to not watch, like, stories of what happened. I need to watch interpretations of, like, that. I need somebody to explain to me how am I supposed to digest that she sat and told <laughs> this story to all these people and nobody was like, huh, that's a. That sounds familiar. And that's on top of this being, like I said, a, a, a three hour story after a rehearsal dinner the night before a wedding. <laughs> like, you know, ah. talk about Debbie Downer. Oh, and then, and then he was in the hallway, he got a chokehold on him, <laughs> <laughs> killed him instantly. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, we're getting, hey. but do you have a score? We're getting married huh? tomorrow. I, I don't know. Like, my. Like, I mean, I, I stand by my, episode, my four and three quarters episode, answers. I, I thoroughly enjoyed episode it. Episode one through eight, like, yeah, four, seven, five. The way they ended this. Oh God. You be honest. It didn't do it for me. I don't know. The whole everything was still done well. Um, the acting was was good and everything. That ending just tanked it for me. I don't know, like a three, seven, five. Okay. I really, I'm really disappointed with that ending. That we're supposed to, like I said, we. It certainly again, wasn't happy. We joked throughout the entire season, like, oh, this is a long story. <laughs> so I'm supposed to believe that she just told this whole story to a group of people. And if they didn't know, like, damn, like, you, let, you know what would be happening? Get her some Because they'd be, text, they'd be texting God. each other. Well, and they'd be texting each other, be like, Jesus Christ. Like, she <laughs> says she had a ghost story. Like, she's still going. <laughs> you know, like, oh, wow, well, it's, getting, it's getting really late here. <laughs> I don't know. This, this ending. I'm not digging it. I will say, <clears throat> and I'm not going to... Heavy spoilers didn't influence me at all. I probably should have did everything before we did that. But uh, for me, I was actually surprisingly more satisfied with this ending, even though all your points are super valid, uh, compared to Haunting of Hill House. Uh, to me, the Haunting of Hill House, it 
we were on such a high that 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 last episode was like this this is it happy ending for the most part it was good but this one at for me i felt like they did a better job of at least you know stay and you could if you like taunting a hill house great because i did too just for me it just hit diff it hit a little different so if you want to disagree with me that's totally fine go ahead and do it but i felt like uh haunting a hill house it didn't give like a you know the final like a good stamp of a of an ending okay because it to me it, you, everything it the, the big stuff happened in that second to last episode. Yeah. And then cool. it was just, we're going to do a slow layout of 45 minutes of a happy ending, which to me felt disjointed a little bit for finale. Well, this it, one. I'll, I'll tell you what was disjointed. The fact well, that. Well, let they, me finish before you go on your, your thing here. <laughs> but uh, for this one, I did feel like it, you, you know, they pieced everything at least for what we had for a story here, you know, laid it out. There was, well, some questions but th that's the thing that i'm hung up on too is like okay so if this did happen which seems like it did owen uh, at minimal how does at minimum owen should know owen, because he talked about it yeah, in the restaurant yeah that's why i didn't think it was actually them but apparently it was so that's kind of where my head is at if for a score i'm actually going to do a three nine for this series i mean it's really not that bad until you get to that those last 10 minutes and i'm not even saying the 10 minutes is bad it's just very questionable decision making on how does jamie like why didn't owen why didn't they have like owen come up to her at the end and be like no. you know that was like xyz kind of like how come we didn't see henry come up to her in xyz you know yeah. that story so you remember when we watched the last avengers and they took chris evans character and aged him i don't know what 50 years 90 years or whatever yeah. 50 yeah. years look it still we're, looked we're, like chris we're evans. talking what you know 87 was when this was supposed to take place what this come out in 2019 so 32 years or whatever they just used a different guy for owen <laughs> Eh, well, we got. That we, one we, I wasn't. We, cool we, you know, yeah. we gotta. We gotta. Bad. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta have it in the intro. We can't have the same guy. Yep. But it's look. Every other TV show now, just look from from a small child to an adult. You know, six or seven years old to an adult. They give us different characters, right? But from forty to seventy, they don't really give us new people anymore. They age no. them uh, either with makeup or CGI or whatever. Yep. And the fact that they couldn't have taken Owen and wrinkled him gave him gray hair, gray hair done that well, what did they do to chris evans whatever that whatever they did to chris evans in the event i shouldn't even say chris evans they've done it with a ton of characters yeah, the irish did the whole they thing they did it with biff tannen in 1987 <laughs> for back to the future part two okay they made him old biff you, you're gonna tell me biff. that they just gave us a different owen and a different henry flora and miles fine yeah i'm okay with that yeah, even aged even even jamie's character because that was you know like okay, this is me later. Fine. Yeah. But like, yeah, but, uh, the, the guy didn't even look anything like Owen. And the guy that they here's my other problem. How old was Owen supposed to be in 1987? Because yeah. he looked, he looked about 30 to me. He, with the he, hair he looked the like the same age, just a different he actor. Like, it was supposed to be like 20. Was it supposed to be like I said? This is supposed to be like what 30 years later, and the guy they got Owen for the after Owen didn't look much older than the before Owen. <laughs> And he, what, he's just, just you know, oh, I'm, I'm shaved now. I don't have a mustache. Yeah, I got some spiky hair and now. They, look, this was, this was, this, in the interest of having everybody around for I'm going to tell you a story, they put them, they painted themselves into a corner for not being able to just use the people at the end and have this big reveal like she's telling the story to the same people, you know? Yeah. It could have just faded into the intro. I'm gonna tell you a story, and then blah blah. I don't. Or I show, don't know. Just show their backs or something. Yeah. This, like I said, I'm hoping. Look, I, I know we've talked about watching the the, the next There's potential. Season. I There's wouldn't potential. say we, we've talked about potentially. it potentially. But God, I, you, I, I almost feel like I have to watch it now. Like just a redemption story, because this is. I don't know. The the only thing that I take. Well, and real quick, just to compare it to Haunting of Hill House, you got to remember that was our first trip into that universe with that whole type Bar of storytelling that they told with the ghosts and the and all, all the symbolism that was in it. So we got to keep that in mind. I, I will I say this: look, there's a lot of talk, uh, you know, on on uh, on social media. I'm not even going to say lately. Over the last couple of years, when people talk about, um, I'm sure everybody's heard the term generational trauma. 
right? And they talk about, you know, at some point, somebody's responsibility to break generational trauma. You know, people that dealt with stuff from their parents or grandparents, and they have, you know, all those issues, and, and they pass it on to their kids. And there's a lot of discussions that I've seen about breaking generational trauma. And if it's the one thing Danny did, she sacrificed herself to, to, mm. to break that cycle of trauma with Bly Manor, with all those people, with everything. And there's, you know, there's, there's definitely a, a ton, a ton of value in that. And I think a decent lesson, if that's a lesson that I can pull out from that and have it be whatever like she broke that cycle because she allowed you know the old like danny every, ended it danny ended yep. it. everybody else was free danny ended the cycle but uh, look other than pulling that out and look i really really liked it all the way up until like mm. wait that's that's <laughs> this it's just a different guy <laughs> like and i know like okay hey, overlook it just just pretend like it's just the same people but it's like look this those details matter like uh, I don't know. Let's say it one, it one last time. The story, <laughs> the storytelling aspect. You could have narrated this in a completely different fashion, without expecting us to believe that somebody sat and told a story this long the night before a wedding. And like, would you even tell this story? Like, well, I think it had to be a wedding because it had to show Flora and where it had she have was everybody at, but, together again. Yeah, but I anyhow. digress. Eh, yep. Didn't love it. All right, guys. Well. For the Appleton Oak, that's Diamond Dave Damone. I'm Mason one. Quinn. This has been Bad Medicine. That was The Haunting of Lie Manor. Mixed reviews? Possibly. We want to hear what you think. We'll see you on the next one, guys.